Eye doctors use a lot of methods to tell the difference between viral, bacterial, and allergy-related eye infections, such as conjunctivitis and viral pink eye. All eye infections usually cause some degree of redness in the eye, but not all red eyes indicate an eye infection. On top of that, these conditions might have similar symptoms, making it challenging to determine the exact cause without proper examination. However, eye doctors are skilled in observing subtle differences using various diagnostic tools, and in this video, we're gonna talk about some of those differences coming up. For starters, eye doctors rely on careful observation and patient history to make an initial assessment. They pay close attention to symptoms like redness, itchiness, discharge, light sensitivity, and swelling. Noting the duration and progression of these symptoms is crucial in identifying the type of infection. Watch until the very end of the video where we'll tell you some of the simplest ways to tell what type of eye infection you might have when your eye is irritated. The disclaimer here is that watching this video doesn't create a doctor-patient relationship and that the treatments discussed if applied or done at your own risk. In addition to observation, eye doctors may conduct laboratory tests to assist in the diagnosis. They might collect a sample of the discharge and send it to a lab for further analysis known as a conjunctival swab. This is one of the many tests that helps detect whether bacteria or viruses are present in the eye. By examining Examining the sample under a microscope or sending it to a laboratory, eye doctors can identify the specific microorganism causing the infection, and the results of these tests can be very useful in confirming a bacterial or a viral infection in the eye. Another important method used by eye doctors is the response to treatment. Based on their first look at the eye infection, they prescribe different treatments for each type of eye infection. If symptoms improve within a few days of antibiotic use, it confirms a bacterial infection. Conversely, if symptoms persist or get worse after antibiotic use, differential diagnosis is then considered. Viral infections might require antiviral medications, and marked improvement with their use serves as confirmation of a viral infection. A poor response to antiviral medications would suggest something different is causing the eye infection. Allergy-related infections mean allergy management approaches like antihistamines, avoiding allergens like dust and pollen, or a visit to the immunologist for some immunotherapy. If symptoms improve or resolve following these measures, it solidifies a diagnosis of an allergy-related infection. The bottom line is that your local optometrist knows that bacterial infections often result in thick, yellowish-green discharge, while viral infections typically cause watery discharge. Allergy-related infections might involve itching and clear, watery discharge along with other allergy symptoms like sneezing or nasal congestion. Other factors like light sensitivity can be an indicator of a condition called iritis that can either happen by itself or along with the types of eye infections we just discussed. Some of these infections will vary in seriousness and in their risk of causing permanent eye damage or even blindness if left untreated. And because eye doctors don't know this until they see the patient, a visit to the eye doctor when you suspect an eye infection could possibly save you from permanent eye damage. And no one can help you with your eyes better than your local optometrist when it comes to following the overall health of your eyes. With the gift of sight being one of our most precious senses, you want to make sure to schedule a visit to your eye doctor immediately if you suspect an eye infection. Your eye doctor probably has a keen eye for detail and utilizes various methods to tell the difference between viral, bacterial, and allergy-related eye infections. Their observations, patient histories, laboratory tests, and response to treatment enable them to accurately identify and treat the culprits causing the eye infection. With targeted treatments like antibiotics, antiviral medications, and allergy management, they strive to restore harmony to the infected eye. If you feel like you're getting value out of this video, be sure and smash the like button. And if you liked this video, you'll definitely want to watch my next one about what to do and what precautions you need to take if you feel like you have an eye infection or something in your eye. Thanks for watching the channel and subscribe for more helpful content.